Hello guys and girls, today we will install OpenSUSE on our VirtualBox virtual machine. So let's get started. So first you have to go to software.opensuse.org, then go to leap, view leap because that's the version we will install, installation, DVD image. Now you should click save file and OK and wait a while until it downloads. I already downloaded that, so I will skip this part. Okay, let's go to our virtual box. Click on new. Now I'll give it a name. Open to say uh, leap. Okay, it automatically Detected type Linux version open so say first now go next uh, I will give it one gigabyte and I wouldn't recommend going under that definitely So let's go with this setup Create a virtual hard disk Now as it's written here, if you do not need to use it with other virtualization software, you can leave these settings unchanged. So we'll click on next. Dynamically allocated. I would go with this one definitely because it will leave more space for our host machine because files will eventually grow on our virtual machine and that's how they will fill up in our host machine as well. But we may not use all. So let's go next. The upper limit, well, I wouldn't go under 25 gigabytes. And there it is. Now we can start. Okay, now you have to locate your ISO file that you downloaded at the beginning. So click on add. Downloads. Open to say lip. 15.2 open choose start navigate with, with your arrow key to installation and oops, enter And there we are, initializing network configuration. Updating the installer. Now we came to the licensing part. Next. System analysis, online repositories. Do we want to activate online repositories now? Let's go with yes. We will leave this like this. Online repositories, click next. Now we get to choose system roles are predefined okay uh, so i would recommend going with the kda plasma but you can choose any of these for example server uh, whatever suits you the best but in this case scenario we go with kda plasma next disk we will click on next uh, partitioning etc let's go with next clock and time zone choose the one where you are at currently or permanently so let's choose uh, yeah next user settings let's create a user password next
now we have a final overview of our installation settings. Click on install. Now we wait. The system will reboot now. Click OK. Now we have to unmount. So you go to devices, optical drives, and unmount this. There was one mistake before we go. There was one mistake before we go on for reboot option. We should have uh, unmounted the optical or the CD drive, which I did over there. So I needed to restart whole virtual machine. So in case you don't get in that situation, just unmount, and everything will run smoothly. And here we are. Well, that is it for now. See you next time. Cheers.